In this video, I will show you how to create this YouTube thumbnail in Photoshop. Let's get straight into it. Begin by clicking the adjustment layer icon and choose solid color. Pick any color as the basic color. This color will be edited later. Select the type tool. You can press T on your keyboard to select the type tool. On the property panel, choose a font. I'm using the Montserrat font. Follow these settings. Write your text. Duplicate the text and follow these settings. Type this in uppercase. Rearrange the layers like this. Hold shift as you click and drag the text down to move the text in a straight line. Select both layers and align text properly at center. Select the color fill layer. Craft the rectangle tool. Create a shape like this. Drag this point to set its corner radius to zero. From the property panel, pick a color of your choice. Make sure the rectangle shape layer is selected. Duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Hold shift and drag it down. Resizing it without holding the shift button will result in this. Instead, hold the shift key and drag this point. You can also duplicate an object by holding both ALT and CTRL keys as you click and drag the object. Press CTRL or COMMAND T to transform this shape. Don't forget to hold SHIFT as you click and drag this point to fit the text. Double click on the thumbnail and now choose a different color. Double click the text layer thumbnail to highlight all the text. Highlight this part of the text and choose a different color. Select the color fill layer. Go to Adjustment and choose Gradient. Click here and within the presets, scroll down and look for Orange. Click the drop down and choose this gradient. Double click this point and you can paste this particular color code. You can also move to the color panel and pick any color. Do same for the other point. Double click and choose a particular color. Click OK. Choose radial as the style and increase the scale to around 144. With this, you can move the radial gradient around. 
position it at where you are satisfied and click OK. Select these layers. Right click and choose Convert to Smart Object. Press Ctrl or Command T. Right click and choose Perspective. Click and drag this point to the right. Now position your text at center. Double click this side of the layer. This will open the blending options. Choose drop shadow and follow these settings. Normally, we create shadows with black, which I will advise to sample a color from the surface you want to create the shadow. In this case, I sample this color and then pick a deep color of the sampled surface or sampled area. This will create a more realistic shadow than using the black color. Click OK and follow these settings. Set opacity to around 75%, shadow size to around 32, and then the spread to around 5%. Now, this looks quite good. Let's add one more thing. Set the angle to 130 and click OK. With the help of Smart Object, you can edit this thumbnail anytime that you want. Let me show you. Double click on this thumbnail. It will open a new tab for you, which is editable. So now you can edit this one by one. So let's set this shape color to black and set the thumbnail shape color to, to black. All you need to do right now is to save it. Then go back to the main tab and your new changes has been applied to the main tab. That's it. If you have any question, leave it in the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. You can watch other videos on this channel.